here at YouTube, I'm back again for another Kickstarter critique where I take a look at a different Kickstarter every single day and give you my honest thoughts on how that Kickstarter is being managed and ran. And today I'm very excited to be checking out Coral Island Reimagining the Farm Sim Game. This is funded in less than 36 hours and it's a reimagined farm sim game inspired by classics, grow crops, nurture animals, buy stairways games. Uh, so I like this. I like this. I maybe put a price up here, but I do like the artwork. It looks good. I see $618,000 funded, and I'm immediately intrigued. So you have that going for you. Um, maybe, say by classics, maybe maybe tickle my nostalgia bug a little bit. Maybe right here, instead of gross traps and nurture animals, you maybe well, I don't know. Because people like that as well. But I'm saying maybe you mention specifically the name of the games that you're trying to improve upon. Uh, all right. What do we got? Video games. You car yog. Wow, I can't pronounce that. Yog Yarkarta, Indonesia. What do we got going on here? Let's check it out. Two twenty-eight. Wow. So it's a very slow-paced video, which for me personally is not my cup of tea, but I'm trying to look at this from the perspective, what I always do, uh, of, of the person who would click on this. And as always, I'm trying to say, do I want it, can you do it, and how much is it? So do I want it, if I enjoy this style of game, I think I definitely I would be interested. I see everything that I've seen in Stardew Valley and, and other games like that. Ooh, Dive and Save Coral, okay. That's a unique twerk. Like that. Because that's honestly what I was worried about. Like, what are you going to do different? And this is different. You know, it, maybe you might say, oh, it's kind of like you're just exploring a dungeons and the caves. But hey, whatever. It's, it's different. <laughs> oh. A, okay. I, so I love what you did right there. The first minute, I went from, all right, farming simulator. But what are you going to do different? You're gonna, I'm going to have mermaids in the bottom of the sea, which means there's uh, you're taking a... a, a it's not going to be 100% grounded in reality, is what I like to say there, which means you're going to have a lot of creative liberty to add all sorts of cool events and different things like that, which I love. And then dating simulator as well. I'm a big fan of this. So do I want it? I'm going to put a check mark on it. I think they've done a great job in the first minute, and we still got more time to go. Excellent. Excellent. I don't know if I would have waited so long to reveal this, like, because at the beginning it was just like, cool, we're walking through a bunch of different places, it looked kind of generic, but now I'm seeing, oh, there's going to be text. And, and I do like the art. Wow, that that's really solid art. That looks like it's straight out of a Disney movie or something. Whoa! Whoa, you were, you were dropping me. What in the world? Is that an office building? Okay, I like this. I like this. Uh, so you're showing me inside of one of the unique buildings, because hopefully there's going to be a whole bunch of different unique buildings to explore, and I like what I'm seeing. It has character. It pops. It's vivid. It looks like a real waiting room. This is good. Sword fighting? Awesome. Mini games. Okay, so what they're showing me now is NPCs are not just going to be NPCs. It's going to be Noah. I mean, they're going to have flavor. They're going to be characters you remember. There's certain games like this. Because I, because the thing is, I don't dislike these games. It's just I, I get crazy about them for like a month and I drop them forever. <laughs> uh, and I love when there's unique characters and stories and things that stick with you. Whoa! I thought we... That... <laughs> okay... Okay, uh, <laughs> that looks very Stardew-esque right there, good sirs and ladies, but hey, whatevs, uh, so they have this, but they also have the underwater stuff, wow, there's a lot you're doing in this game, I like that, I almost feel like they've, they've, they've focused so much on the other stuff, they've, maybe they've neglected just a little bit more, like, I want to know what, more of what kind of animals can I have, 
And what kind of plants can I have? And what can I do with my plants? Can I make jelly again and beer? What, so I feel like they're almost focusing a little too too much on a lot of the other stuff and not enough on that. But still, I, I'm excited. <laughs> okay. Okay. I got some mixed reactions about the video, but overall... Why was that a reveal at the end? Oh, mermaids have their own language. That seems like an odd reveal at the end. But anywho. <laughs> so, do I want it? I think yes. I think you did a great job on the video. If I were more into that genre of games, I think this would be an overwhelming yes, especially if the price is right. So I want to know, can you do it? How much is it? Hopefully you beat me over the head with a stick with those. Stairway Games, first created zero back. Ooh, boy, howdy. No, you're not. We believe in the medium of games and breathe a studio culture that is in-service, created, polished experience. What the hell? That sounds like such generic stuff. Back of camp, back of voice. Uh, okay. We believe in the medium of games and breathe a studio culture that is in service of creating polished experience. So we don't release the game until it's done. I think that's what they're trying to say. Our journey begins. 70K. Okay. Console and switch port. Oh my goodness. No, you've reached this. No, 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 no! You put those big fancy switch words up there, sir! <laughs> or, or madam, once again. Ah, uh, let's go back and look at this. Let's look at this. Coral Island, uh, you put a big old switch logo here. That is just a, that is non-negotiable. Because right now, I'm assuming this is, uh, yeah. Because I think that's just gonna draw so many people in. You know, and if you got the other systems as well, if this is going to Xbox, PlayStation, let me know. Don't hide it. Mini game. What does this mean? Bug catching, expanded museum, NPC season outfits, mod support, multi multiplayer. Holy God, kids grow up. This is great. So as I always say in these videos, if you have stretch goals, once you hit your goal, you rock it though. So I do love the fact that you are hitting me over the face right now. You were just like, do I want it? Yes, I want it. I want it. I want it. I want it. And I love that. Get me to the price. Hopefully it's in the story. Uh, and you have more stretch goals. Great, you're focusing on it. We all had bathing suits, just beach outfits. Uh, Mealy Suki, Ben and Choils, join the datable, datable roster. Oh, awesome! We make your town more lively by welcoming Fort. This is this is great stuff. This is amazing stuff. The village becomes a kingdom and features a festival. Oh, we expand the Merfolk romance and quest lines. You'll be twenty Merfolk with friend Ted and many fine with. Oh my gosh, you have you have the fear of missing out. I need to hit these stretch goals. Island hopping endgame. Uh, unlock a new biome to explore around Coral Island. Wow, this is great. Okay. Whew. Slow my roll. Do I want it? Yes, I obviously do. But you still have to prove to me, can you do it? And you still need to tell me how much it is. All right. <clears throat> As a reimagined farm sim game inspired by classics. <sighs> tell me what classics. Promise it to keep intact, which farm games, sim games, wishlist us on Steam, join our Discord, follow us on Twitter, download our press kits, meet the Islander. There are over 50 islanders on Coral Island coming from all walks of life. Get to know these people by chatting them up. Extra bounty points for gifts. Romanceable characters. Man, that artwork. That artwork is absolutely just a s straight out of a movie. Features. Build your dream farm. I don't need to be convinced anymore. This is though. This is great, though. You are getting into the weeds with the crops and the fruit plants. These are the okay. And then we got the trees. And I'm going to take... I'm going to close this door real quick. Close this door. Stop the time. Bam, 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 bam. Yeah. So artwork is clearly what you're trying. Wow. This is great artwork. Oh, I didn't want to look over here, but we'll get there. I don't think you're going to give me the price, are you? So let's see. $20. When it launches on early access, coming with a Kickstarter exclusive farmer outfit cosmetic. Is this... So this is on Steam. $20 Steam game. $30. House game the shape by gaining access to the pre-alpha and alpha farmers discard group. Receive the digital OST. You'll also be an exclusive Discord title, Alpha Farmer. Okay, 3,500, so that means it's a great pledge level. 
because a lot of people have name and credit packs. I bet this is going to be a hot one too. Thousand, three hundred, awesome. Double double pack. Uh, get additional copies reward to gift. So cool. You got a lot of people there. Deluxe farmer pack. Exclu- oh, this is an exclusive mythical pet. These are great pledge levels. You know, normally I don't like the clutter. And I still don't like the clutter, but the fact that people are taking these in just big numbers, 797, tells me that you have put some great pledge levels here. And even your big your big expensive ones, 14, uh, Yow's is 4, Early Bird, like it, Founder's Pack, whatever. Okay. Uh, here's the thing. It's still not as clean as I'd like it to be, because is this... You say it's coming to the Switch, you say it's coming to console, which one do I need to purchase to get that? Or are you just saying that the, this Kickstarter is not for that, but it is coming out? Like, I hope that's, hopefully that's covered in the FAQs, but honestly, I would put that higher. I would put that up to the stretch goals, maybe even on the stretch goal where it tells you about the co-op, or the, the console, or the Switch one, uh, maybe mention that. Because right now... As a Switch owner, I don't feel comfortable backing any of these because I want to make sure. Yeah, this is the, the pre. This is access keys. I want to know that I'm actually going to get the game because I don't play on the computer that much. Dive to save coral. Cool. Redundant. I like the fact that you're going more in detail into it, and that's spectacular. This is all great, but give me important information before you get to all this. Explore abandoned caves. Yeah, watch your videos. Like wow, this. This, you're, you're beating me over the head with a stick of, uh, do I want it? And I will say, that's the other thing. You are slowly convincing me, can you do it? Because I see, I'm seeing the in-game stuff. But with a video game, that doesn't always mean everything. <laughs> you know what I mean there. Welcome to your town, a small world with big personality locations. This is great. Oh my gosh. Why did I have to wait so long to find this? This is, a, this is spectacular. Put this higher. That picture right there gets me excited. I'd love a map of that picture, maybe if I was that much of your game. So you're going into the weeds about the game. Awesome. Coral tree. Great. Cool stuff. Banging. Tell me you can actually make the game. Soundtrack. This is the okay, case. So this goes, this, this gets me there. Nope. Don't want to get a copyright. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, here we go. Here we go. Uh, this is what? 15 minutes later. This needs to be way higher. $1 supporter. Receive high res digital wallpaper pack. Cool. Whatever. I bet that's got a couple. Oh, you didn't... Wait, you didn't even... You didn't put that... That's not a pledge level. <laughs> okay. That's not a pledge level. Oh, $16 early bird price? Hey, is this a pledge level that I can't have? Guess what? Get it out of here! I don't want to see it. Just the game. When it launches in early access, get the Kickstarter exclusive farmer outfit set. When it launches into early access. So this is early access. This is Steam. Does it give me a console game? Does it give me a Switch download code? Is it a physical? Like, you need to let me know. $30. Alpha Farmer Kick. Help us shape the game. This is great. This needs to be way higher. This needs to be so much higher. And once these stretch goals get filled, boom, get rid of them. They don't need to be there. Uh, the image below displays the correct rewards for each tier. This is great. This is spectacular. Once again, how many people are not going to scroll all the way through the redundancy you made us get through? This is great. This is great. Game key. Alpha Plus. Yeah, this is, I love this. It's good. Deluxe Farmer. Pack and... What? You will receive two mystical pets, and now we're back to talking about just random stuff. Cool. I hate the organization on this. Add-ons. Why isn't this in the shopping section? <laughs> like, put this in the shopping section. Game key? What's a game key? Digital art book and OST. Cool. Mythical pets. What's that mean? The Alpha Plus game key. I understand that. Core cry- Okay. Purchasing add-ons. Press your menu. Oh, I know how to do this. Uh, here we go. Here we go. Wow! The current plan is to release Coral Island for Steam on the Windows platform list. So as we past our console stretch goals, Coral Island will be coming to Nintendo Switch, PlayStation, and Xbox. Would you like to know more about how you get those? Piss off! <laughs> like, fill us in, man! Or lady. Like, uh, come on! Also, can we get these, you know, you know, it'd be cool if you put them in color, because <laughs> that makes me feel like they're actually unlocked. Just, ugh. Ugh, you got $600,000. This could be a million dollar project. Easy. But it's just, sometimes the organization's just ugh, ugly. We understand the localization report. Coral Island will launch into early access with, uh, cool. 
Oh, this is great. Oh, they're unlocked? If they're unlocked, then what are they? <laughs> like, what does this mean? Uh, why is this one unlocked and that one is locked? This is just... Ugh. About Stairway Games. Based in Indonesia, our team consists of 20 passionate talents that include both permanent crew members and remote collaborators. Although this is our first game as a studio, our team is comprised of veterans and junior game developers. Okay, so if they are veterans, why don't you tell me about some of their freaking experience? No, I don't like this. We can learn more about us on our website. No Stairway Games. Naughty Stairway Games. If you have a talented, spectacular team... Wow, is this is this the launch video? Okay, it's the launch video. I thought that was actually in-game footage. Do we have any in-game footage? Just, like, uncut? Because if we do, I should be able to see that somewhere. I don't want your stupid announce trailer over and over again. That's what you're giving me. That's what you're giving me. I don't like it. News? Kickstarter's now live. Dev updates. These are great. Okay. I do like developer updates. Yeah. Co-art director. Yeah, I'm just saying... Let me know your pedigree. There's the three things. Do I want it? Yeah. You ace that. Can you do it? I don't know. Maybe you're just really good at making Kickstarters. <laughs> it's just, ugh. I don't feel that comfortable with it. I really don't. Tell me more about your team. Our goal is to release the best version of Call I We believe the only way to achieve this is through community involvement. We hope to build a community, blah, 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 current status. Well, this is good. Development began in October 20, 2019. Seems reasonable enough time, I guess. Uh, cool. Final release. Tells me nothing about the Nintendo Switch or Xbox version. Which I imagine a lot of people want to know about. Ugly, ugly. Let's go to the FAQ. 14. Don't. Hopefully it's a good one. What is the difference between pre-alpha and alpha access? Plan release schedule? How much will the game cost? Still finalizing this, but the plan is a increased price for the current one. More okay, cool. What about multiplayer? What about Mac OS? We'll be able to pick a there. We go right here, right here. This needs to be spotlighted in giant neon signs on your page. Don't bury it in the FAQ. I love the fact that it's in the FAQ, but don't bury it. Can I marry same sex? Cool. Updates 14 updates. All right. Stretch goal, multiplayer unlocked. And look at this. Look at this engagement. 218 and 50 comments. That's good, but when you have 13,000 backers, that tells me it could be much, much better. And let's go take a peek. Let's go take a quick peek real quick. Let's see if we can find another video game that is really engaging their audience. Because I'm going to guess these updates are not the best. I'm going to take a stab in the dark and, and just take a stab at it. All right, so what do we got? Uh, let's just, uh, those are board games. That's an RPG. Let's check out Ova Magica. Let's see how their their comments are. Updates. Maybe they're No, they're probably not as they're probably not going to be that good either. Uh, 45 5. Yeah, they're not they're not engaging people either. But what I'm saying here is Always end with a question, first and foremost. Multiplayer unlocked, not even halfway through our campaign, and you, our backers, have helped us reach the multiplayer stretch goal. The level of support and enthusiasm reigns unreal to everyone in the studio. A big thank you to every backer. What can you expect from multiplayer? We'll be implementing several modes, including four-player online farms and couch co-op. Whoa! Couch co-op, to name a few! Ha! <sighs> you are so frustrating, Coral Island! What are you doing? What are you freaking doing?! Why did I just have to go through 20 minutes of looking through your page, your story, your pledge levels, every single thing, and only when I come to update number 14 do I find out there's couch co-op? No! If you've announced this, and this is a new announcement, oh, this is a brand new announcement, okay, so that's fine. That's fine, I give it an asterisk on that, but get this to the top of your page. This need, I put it in the freaking video. Couch co-op is a huge deal for a lot of people. And online farms are also a huge deal, but couch co-op in particular. Uh, so what's next? We've reached a new batch of stretch goals. This is great. So this is actually not a bad update, except for one glaring thing, which is you don't give people room, room to talk. I'm so happy for you guys. And look at this. You know, Oh, so there's 27 minutes ago. So I understand why you haven't responded to these. No, you know what? I take it back. I take it back. You're not in here at all. 
Get out of here at all. Ugh. Ugh. This is the worst possible case scenario. You have 41 people here engaged and active. And you know who's not? You. You are not. You have 20 people on your team, and you're telling me you don't have somebody who can't pop in here to comment on stuff? I'm so happy for you guys to meet all the initial stretch goals. Thank you so much, Tiny Tidy. What are you, what's your favorite aspect of a farming simulator that you'd love to see in the game in the future or something like that? Because you've clearly opened the door to new ideas. And why don't you farm, ha ha ha, your, your people here to see if they have ideas? Because look at this, you're not responding to a dang thing. Just, ugh. Ugh. Don't be happy with $600,000. You shoot for $2 million. You shoot for $2 million by getting these comment sections popping. By getting the update section going. Look at that comment section, 1,036. That's a good one. Whoever's doing the comments is probably not the same person doing the updates. I'm going to take a stab in the dark, maybe. Wait, wait, wait. There's collaborators on this, right? Tell me there's collaborators. You've got collaborators, right? Who do you got? Who do you got? Soma game producer. Okay, cool. You got the creative director, the game producer. This is what I was talking about. Have numerous people collaborating on your project. Backer camp, backer voice, whatever. They're not going to be in your comments and your updates. You need people in your comments, in your updates, responding to everything, even if it doesn't feel like it needs responding to. Let's check out this one. 162 hearts and 24 comments. Sickens me, because I bet you don't leave them anywhere to talk. Uh, hates garlic. You're telling me about it. Cool. Tell me about it. Tell me about it. Game shout out. What's your fit? Oh, what's your fave of this batch farmer? So there's the question, but then it's marketing this. Okay, cool. So you got people engaged. Excellent. I take that back. Good. You just didn't get as many people as you're hoping to. Let's see. Did you respond to their comments? Oh, maybe it's because you asked them a question and then you left the freaking room. Ugh. Ugh! Here's the thing. This should not say 24. It should very easily say 48 because you should be responding to all their comments. You ask them a question, then you continue the conversation because it wouldn't just be 48. It would be in the hundreds most likely. At least 100 because you know what? When you come back, there's a good chance maybe 15, 25% of those people are going to do, they're going to come back at you with something else. Especially if you engage them in a good way, a way that continues the conversation. And then as you continue the conversation, you're tickling the Kickstarter algorithms. And then before you know it, you're higher than the other one we looked at, which was what? Ova Magic. Which, wait, is this, am I looking at the wrong? Yeah. Which is Ova Magic, which only has a third of the money you have, yet they are engaging their people. Wait, that is so weird. Why are they higher? Because I don't know. It's the Kickstarter algorithms. And I bet you maybe if you were tickling them a little bit harder, instead of, Posting, let's see. Oh my gosh, tell me this is not. Tell me. Oh no. Oh no. Please tell me not every single one of these updates is you completely abandoning your people. Oh no. 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 I've already given you a one, and it was a tepid one. But now the one is going to get even more tepid. Let's let's see your most popular update. Oh my gosh, this is, this is so bad. 48... Here we go. Let's go stretch. <laughs> Is it really you didn't respond to anyone? <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, come on. You didn't respond to anybody at all about anything. This is garbage fire updates, and I hate it, and I'm calling you out on this crap. God, you have. Let's, let's just make a guess and say that you didn't respond to any of the updates. That means we have 51, 75, uh, 106, 147, 170, uh, 210, 228, uh, 243, 254. We're getting over 300 comments on your Kickstarter that you are probably not even acknowledging they exist. What are you doing? I understand you're hard at work with stretch goals in the game and whatnot, but as I tell every single one of these, reach out to anyone in your close personal bubble that you trust, family, friend, and just have them be your nicety person in the updates and the comments. They respond to things. Because right now, I'm mad at you. <laughs> Any plans for cross-platform play? From the FAQ. Hey, thanks, Christian Elite 2. <laughs> 
I mean, that's, that's great. Uh, I wish the dateable merfolk goal wasn't so high. They're the most appealing, romanceable characters. Same. But I want... Uh, oh, God. Are you not responding in here either? I mean, these are an hour ago, so I can let that ex be excused. But here's what I'm talking about. You know what I don't see? You know what I don't see at all? You. You. I don't see any of your collaborators. I don't see you in here. This is ugly. This is so insanely ugly. I have not seen one... What? And maybe it's your sleep schedule. Say, oh, sleep, asleep. Well, guess what? You got 20 people in your company. You got a project that's making $600,000. You say, hey, Bob, we're going to ask you to tweak your sleep schedule for this month so that way we can actually have someone to respond to our 1,000 comments. I'm just going to keep scrolling until I actually see you. This is mind-boggling. You have people who are chomping at the bits, insanely, ridiculously excited about your project. There it is, collaborator. Hey, looky there. What's this, 200 messages in and we finally get you here? So glad you could join us in your comments section. I got I to gotta go zero. I got to go zero. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't, in good conscience, recommend this project. That is too big of a red flag. I cannot overcome the fact that I literally had to scroll through hundreds and hundreds of your updates and your comments before you were even actively engaged, and it just... Ah, no, zero. I give this a zero. Go pick it up when the game is out, because I, I just don't trust it. Your customer service is that ungodly bad now? Because let's let's guess, let's guess, let's go through those hundred comments. Let's see how many are actually questions. Here we go. Uh, let's see. I love the new stretch goals. I'm very impressed. Blah blah blah. Here we go. Is there a question? Oh, here we go. Here's a question. This is possible via add-ons. So is Christian Elite 2, is he actually your dude in the comments? Because if he is, add them as a collaborator. And if not, then... Uh, no, add them as a collaborator. Because look, Christian Elite 2 is doing your job for you. I hope that's the case. I really hope that's the case that Pugu... Yes. Okay. Okay. I take it back. I take it back to a certain extent. What you need to do right now... I hope you can still do it, is add those people as collaborators. Because look at it from my perspective. I scroll down, and I see none of your green collaborator tabs. And that just makes me think that you've completely let your comments turn into a, just, just a, an abyss where you don't even go. I think they said they don't have... Uh, yeah, so there's a question. There's not an answer that's an hour ago. But yeah, I, I still got to give it a zero. Because at the end of the day, do I want it? Can you do it? And how much is it? You've convinced me I want it. I totally want it, which makes us want a hard zero to give, but I'm going to give it. Can you do it? I assume so. I really do. I'd like to know more about your experience. I can see that you can... I, I, I'd like to know more about your experience. And how much is it? Uh, I know how much it is, and I think it's a good price. But once again, I had to find out in the freaking FAQs that I can actually get it as a Switch game. Uh, and it's just yeah, it's just the, the, the management of the, the entire area here is just so clunky and for that i give it a zero that is coral island uh it's currently got six hundred twenty thousand dollars. but if my zero does not sway you because you're your own person be sure to click on that kickstarter link down below tell them in the comment section bowers game corner sent you and they will not respond to you but i imagine uh what is it somebody else will uh because they, they have some great fans here uh ideas and, wow look at this look at this this is amazing and you're not even engaging them in the updates. You, ah, worst update. It's such a bad update section. Terrible. That's going to be the, the title of this video. Coral Island. Reimagining the farm sim game with a dumpster fire update section. But, as always, thanks for your time, YouTube. Oh, ah, so mad.